Alright, so you like most of America. You still don't get NFTs. You still don't understand why anybody in their right mind would pay the money that you're seeing for these NFTs. And in this video, I not only give you a brief explanation of what an NFT is, because in order to understand why they're valuable, you have to correctly know what it is, but I'm also go a little deeper into the different kinds of NFTs to better help you understand if this is something you even want to do. All right, so first let me explain this. An NFT is not just a worthless image. The picture itself is just a surface because what an NFT does is it basically functions as a membership card or ticket, right? They can give you VIP access to events, exclusive merchandise, and even discounts. They can even be used to earn passive income and sold for profit. And so more and more cases of NFTs are popping up every day. But basically, just for your brain, in the simplest definition, think of an NFT as just like a ticket or a card to give you access or entry into a community within the metaverse, all right? So now that we got that clear, let's talk about the three different kinds of NFTs. You got the artsy, the collectible ones, right? These kinds are used Usually made by a well-known artist already who just wanted to go ahead and get into the NFT space, right? Then you have gaming NFTs, the kinds I see most commonly. These NFTs have value in the metaverse because within the metaverse and crypto, which is what NFTs is built on top of if you're not aware yet, these games are now play to earn. And depending on how big the game is, who the developers are, then that directly correlates to earning potential, meaning you can make some money off of certain NFTs within a play to earn system. All right, and the third kind is you have the collectible NFTs, the utility NFTs. These kinds are valuable because these kinds, they're the ones that grant you access into communities. These communities sometimes have resources. I know a lot of projects like to kind of put the, their, the money that they make off the sale back into the community. These communities vote on things like trips or maybe the community say hey let's not do a trip just give us all one ethereum or whatever the case may be a lot of the times it's a combination of a gaming nft and a utility nft so you're starting to see famous people get into these like snoop dogg with the land or a little baby steph curry who i always mention and that's because not only is it a collectible it's kind of a flex to have one as your ad all right so let's say you have an nft right let's say you have one and you want to sell it these are the kinds of people that you're gonna sell it to. Let's say you got a gaming one or a collectible or just an artsy one, all right? So the first type of person, and that's honestly the best way for me or you to get into NFTs, and that's the investors, right? People who are trying to make a profit and they're wanting to sell them for more than what they bought them for straight up. These people aren't really into the art. They just see the monetary value and they basically find these through like a roadmap. Now, these people believe in the future of NFTs just like me, but they mostly see it as just investments. And these people in any field are, are resellers like, like in any field, right? They don't have a love or a passion for the sport figuratively, but they know the game from the business standpoint and are solely in this to make money, all right? So the second type of person you're gonna sell this to is the opposite. And let me tell you, you're not gonna have to go out and find this person. This person, if you have it listed, if you have, if you own an NFT in a collection and you have it listed, then it'll still show within the collection, but it'll just show you, YouTube viewer, as the owner. So you wouldn't have to seek out anybody, they will buy it from you. But the second type of person is the opposite, right? These people might be collectors and have a passion for a set items, right? So they probably have their favorite artist already in real life and they're just trying to support him, but they got to it late, right? That's why it's important that you watch all the, the videos I post on upcoming projects because the key is getting in on projects early, right? But these people believe in the future of NFTs as well. And I'm not sure if you're aware, but actual paintings in real life actually sell for thousands and thousands of dollars. So these are the same type of people that would hang a thousand dollar painting in their house. So just like someone would spend 500K on a Michael Jordan rookie card, which is ultimately just a piece of paper, right? That someone printed ink on. That's all an NFT is, honestly, is just something with a perceived value, right? So start to think of it that way. The third type of person, honestly, is just here to flex their wealth or they got enough money to where their advisors are telling them, hey bro, get in the NFTs. This is what I'm assuming about your Steph Curry's, your little babies, your Snoop Dogg's, Lil Pump, all the people that are getting into NFTs that are famous. Now, this kind of person buys things just because they're expensive. And it's no different with NFTs, right? People like to own expensive, exclusive items. So think about it in the real world. People who have worked hard like to drive Bentleys around if they afford it, if they can afford it, right? 
it's the same concept, right? So now that you understand the three different kinds of NFTs, the three different reasons people buy NFTs, then you can further understand why they're even a thing and why they're so valuable. I gave the examples I gave because I wanted to kind of compare real world stuff like with the Jordan rookie card to NFTs because within the metaverse, all this stuff, all these NFTs have value within certain community. And while I feel like, like I said, while most of it is perceived value, no doubt there's still value here, right? So when you so when you buy an NFT from a collection that sells out instantly, and now the floor price is going up, meaning the value is going up. I have another video where I go deeper on the floor price, but the floor price is basically just in a collection, you have the lowest price items, right? Five of them might be 0.01 ethereum right that's the lowest price that's the floor price once all the cheapest ones are bought the next cheapest ones that are available now become the new floor so now the value just goes up and up and so what's happening is more value more demand is coming and so if you hold one of those nfts then if you bought it for 0.1 ethereum and now the new floor is one whole ethereum then you could very much so now sell yours for one ethereum all right so that's basically why nfts have such value and so if you've seen the ones that have skyrocketed all the way up to the hundred thousands then that either means they came in at a high floor price or more commonly they came in with a low floor price the people that got in early were able to grab them and then once bigger people got in, then it just skyrocketed. And now the NFT is worth a thousand times more than what you bought it for. So that's why NFTs are so valuable. I have another video where I go into detail about just more NFT topics, bro. Meet me over in that video. I love y'all, bro. Let's get it.